Right, how's it going guys? So I'm taking my um, Rebecca's out of my propagator now and I'm going to be putting them up into their own pots and keeping them in the greenhouse. Um, as you can see they've got quite big. The roots, if I try and hold it upside down, the roots are growing crazy under there so it's about time I pot them up. I did pot up the other day, I put it up the, because if you remember I had the six in this container and then I also had um, three in one of these containers um, so the other day I potted up those three which are here I just thought I'll take the risk with these ones a bit sooner than the others because these ones haven't grown as quickly so they were the guinea pigs if you like um, so they're going to be going into the same size pots so just just these ones for now and then um, they're just going to be in the greenhouse uh, right so I'm going to be using just ordinary potting compost so multi-purpose just the the cheap stuff you get from B&Q so I'm going to fill it up halfway pull these out and I'll show you what the roots are looking like oh they're all coming up together that's how right let's actually try and might be able to lift them all out if I hold on to the edges there we go yeah, the roots are just so tangled right now. So if I just gently... It doesn't matter if I damage too many roots because... They've got so many. They're not they're not young and... Right, I'm going to keep them in the tissue tube. So I'm just going to kind of break apart the edges. Just because I don't want it sticking out, out of the top of the soil. So just like that. If I try and bring you closer. I just move the camera down a little. There we go. So I'm just pushing it the edges down like that, just because I don't want them out, out sticking out of the soil. Uh, this is the one that looks like the odd, the odd one out. This is the one that's different to all of the rest. So it'd be quite interesting to see what this flower turns into, and if it looks anything at all like the the others. What I'm guessing is that it's got two parents, and this is grown like one of the parents, and this is grown like the other parent. That would be my guess, but we'll see. I'm not sure if they'll flower this year or, or if they take two years to flower. I'm, I'm really not sure. So I'm just going to be doing the same with all these other ones. Look at all those roots coming out the bottom. And they, they are growing through the, through the tissue roll as well. So it's worked absolutely perfectly. Let's... These pots are all a bit mis mismatched because these are just ones that I've kind of salvaged from the, the shed rather than buying all new ones. There we are, same again. Put all those roots in there. Kind of bend over the tops. And that'll just that'll just decompose over over time. So I'm not worried about that at all. Uh, Yeah, so I'm just going to pot up the rest of these because obviously it's not too much to look at at the moment. And then, whilst I'm doing this, we'll have a little look around the greenhouse and I'll show you what else I'm going to be planting today. Right, so just here we've got all the stipers that I transplanted the other day. Um, the smaller ones are the ones that were growing in one of these pots in my propagator. So I managed to get quite a few out of there. There's four more there as well and then the larger ones were the ones that were in the you can see the just you can just see the top of one there they were in the little peat balls so um they were planted what was it a month between 13th of the first and then these guys were planted where's the label here is these were planted on the 17th of the first well not much time between them at all and look at the size difference but i think it's because these these had their own individual cells, whereas these were all planted in one, kind of all together, so they were all sharing the same system. Um, I planted up my cabbages as well. I just didn't want them in the, in the propagator anymore. So they should be fine. And then the, pro the cabbages that we planted up here a while ago, I can't remember if, I sh if this was shown or not, but they actually all got eaten by um, caterpillars. And so I had to re-sow, and they're just starting to come up now. So. And I'm pretty sure all of them come up, so 
hopefully no more caterpillars I've been going through through all the pots checking underneath just getting rid of every caterpillar and snail and slug that I see um, the sweet peas here have come up quite nicely there's a couple that haven't or there's three that haven't but that's not too much of a problem because these are just kind of these are just going to go in gaps that I find here and there um, the grasses let me try and show you one this one's a good example you can see right at the bottom all the red shoots so that'll be this year's growth that's the that's the new growth coming along so they're all finally showing signs of something we've got the verbenas here they're all doing okay there was actually some white fly on some of them so i had to go through pulling a lot of leaves off if you see this one i've taken off a lot of the lower leaves and it doesn't seem to be any signs of white fly anymore so hopefully that's that gone but that they would have come from the person i bought these from and that's the risk you take when you buy from other people in there because you don't know the cleanliness the hygiene of their polytunnels this was grown in a polytunnel these ones so i'm guessing that whole polytunnel is just infected with pests but because they're turning over their plants so quickly they don't need to worry about it um the lilies this one's coming up really well this one's doing quite well and then this little tiny one literally the other day has popped his head up so that's great um these are the um, heleniums what else have we got oh we've got the cuttings here they had aphids on but i've managed to knock off all the aphids and they seem to be growing back a bit a bit nicer they look a bit more healthy what else have we got to look at oh we've got under here we've got the lamb's ears but they they still look the same if you get in there all the lambs is they'll probably i'll probably pot those up fairly soon i've got a lot of those in my bedroom as well that need to come out so i'll probably do those all in one go oh we've got the lupins as well um these lupins were given free from um jay parkers i believe it's called i bought um a tree and they gave me those for free um, uh my mum will probably want to pot those somewhere i'm not too keen on them um the scotch thistles are doing really well they're getting nice and big i'm gonna to have to transplant those before they out compete what is actually growing in the pot and that's probably it for now there's not really much else to look at but i'm gonna be sowing these seeds so i've got the um, scabiosa stellata they'll be going in today and then i've got cucumelons and i don't think it's too early to grow these but i'm going to give it a go the 60 seeds so even if they do die the first time around we can plant some more so I'm just going to carry on, finish off with this, like I said I was going to, and then, oh, one more thing. Ignore my crocs, I'm sure someone's going to be embarrassed by that. Um, the Miscanthus um, sinensis, you can see all that green growth is brand new, so that's coming up nicely as well. And it, it's kind of got this, I didn't realise this in the pictures when I bought it, but it's got kind of got this white edge on it you see that looks almost variegated so that's quite nice i didn't i wasn't expecting that um yeah so i'm gonna carry on with these and then i'll be right back right there we go so i've just finished potting up the six rebeccas there i'll give them a good water after um and i'll water the seeds at the same time as well um i've just filled up the seed tray and i've put it into its bottom water tray Let's try and sort this camera out. It's really... There we are. Um, oops. There we are. Right, I guess I'll go for these first. I'm not sure how many I'm going to want to plant of each. Maybe I'll do um, two rows of the cucumelons and then the rest can be the scabious. Uh, yeah, so I don't know what the seeds look like on these. Uh, it says to plant March to April. Um, you can sow indoors in early spring or autumn. So Finley onto the surface of good quality seed compost. This is just regular, regular multi-purpose compost because seed compost is too expensive. Oh, the seeds feel fairly big actually. Right, this should be fairly easy then. Let's get this open. Let's have a look. Oh wow, yeah, they're really big. I was not expecting that, look. Here you are, it's close up on my disgustingly dirty hands. Um, that's so strange. 
I wonder if there's a, that's only one seed or if there's more than one seed in that in that section. Right, I guess I'll just I'm gonna do one for each cell because I don't need too many. That's so strange. Right. There we are. So much nicer being able to come home and get some gardening done in the evenings now it's getting lighter later. There we go, one more. Cool. They are so strong. I've never seen seeds like that before. Let's get them back in. And we've got loads left over, so if these do fail, we can just plant more. So it says cover thinly. So I think what I'll do is I'll just kind of poke them down and then cover them thinly like that instead of covering them over too much. And I'm going to water from underneath, so I'll fill up the water tray with water instead of going straight directly over them with a watering can just so it doesn't bring the seeds back up to the surface again. There we are. Uh, these, it said they'll take about 21 days to, to germinate, which it probably will be true as they're out in the greenhouse. So if they were up in my room, it's obviously warmer temperature, they'd probably come up a lot sooner, but there we are. So the label with the date, and I'm going to stick that right in where that first one was there. So then we'll have these eight, which will be the cucumelons. So I've never grown cucumelons before either. So these are two firsts for me. But I was thinking I can keep these cucumelons inside the greenhouse. I thought that would be quite nice. So in, in the greenhouse this year, I'll be growing the chilies which are already in my propagator upstairs and then I'll be I'll grow some tomatoes because I, I grow tomatoes every year because my mum likes them um, and then the and then these so I don't know what else one two three four five six seven eight so I'm just gonna stick one per cell in these as well because I think eight plants is quite a lot anyway so it won't matter too much if they don't all germinate and like I say, I'm not sure if this is too early anyway, so we will see together. There we go. Uh, these, because they're such small seeds, I'm not going to cover these deep. So I'm just going to do the exact same, just kind of poke them down just gently, just cover them. So I just want them to be in contact with the, with the soil. Because they're only small seeds, they're not going to have too much energy to push up through a lot of dirt. There we are. For some reason I get really like breathless when I'm doing my videos, when I'm talking. I'm not sure if it's because I'm talking too much or if it's a nervous thing. So, sorry if I come across really awkward. Right, and then we've got the label cucumelons and the date again. And I'm going to stick those, that right in the corner there. So that I'll know, I'll know, coming from this way, that there's two rows of that and then three rows of that. Cool. That was quick and easy. Now, now I've just got to wait, wait until they come up. Um, I'll probably do, I'll be doing more videos of my greenhouse over the coming weeks anyway, because there'll be a lot going on. Um, let me quickly turn you around actually. If you remember, I had that red currant bush in my greenhouse. It's kind of exploded. And I've got one outside as well, just, if you can see, just there, you see that twiggy one? My greenhouse really needs cleaning. Um, but you can just see the temperature difference, how this one has shot so quickly, and that one's still just twigs. Obviously the buds haven't burst on that, whereas this one, they've, they've grown quite a lot. So, what else? There's not really much else to show. I've got a couple of carnivorous plants there, but they are just empty pots right now nothing to see in there um, but I'm going to keep these ones in the greenhouse in the summer because I'm going to see how they do compared to the ones that I've got in my bedroom so this came as one plant but I divided it into three so I've got the two here and then one up in my bedroom and I just thought it'd be quite cool to see what they catch in here obviously I don't want them to catch bees but we're gonna have to kind of it's gonna be a trial and error to see what they what they do um, yeah other than that there's not really much else to show 
Um, I'm probably going to transplant these into bigger pots. Although the beds might be ready for them to go out fairly soon anyway, so maybe not. Um, if anyone's wondering what that is, that's a, a lemon tree. Or a lemon. going to be a tree. Um, apparently this one's a, a hardier version. So I'm just protecting the root stock. That's what you're supposed to protect, the roots. And then the top will be fine, but as you can see, the caterpillars had a munch on that as well. And the bits in here, in the middle here, that was snail damage, but on the edge, that's, that was caterpillars. But it seems I seem to have eradicated the caterpillar problem in here. I didn't kill any of them, I just took them out to a different part of my garden. Um, and the slugs and snails seem to be fairly on the down low. I keep picking up like everything that I've got in here, like the buckets and the li larger pots on the floor and the stuff under my potting bench. I lift it all up every now and again just to get rid of any slugs that are hiding under there. Yeah, so that's everything for now. So like I said, I'll give these a water and then that'll be it. Um, but I'll do that off camera, obviously. That's no fun to watch. Um, there's a penny there. All right, anyway. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Sorry if my video is getting strange or boring. Um, I'm trying out my new uh, microphone today that my brother got me for my birthday, so let me know if that sounds any better or if it needs adjusting, let me know, that'd be cool to hear. Um, other than that, I'm just rambling and talking really slow and it's probably really boring. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. And yeah, I'll bring up more updates soon. All right, thank you.